Good news, gentlemen. The SEC has formally declared that XRP is not a security in its interlocutory appeal. In addition, Palau has stated that government intends to establish a dollar-backed stablecoin using Ripple to grow the economy and enhance financial inclusion. The current situation. The price of XRP has created an arbitrage opportunity for skilled traders, which I will explain to you all. Finally, in earlier videos, we addressed the amount required to make millions of dollars if XRP reaches the $1 price target, but if XRP falls below $0.05, how much will be required to make $1 million? If this sounds like something you'd be interested in, make sure to watch this new video right now. Hello and welcome to our channel, where we discuss the newest XRP news and the cryptocurrency world in general. If you are watching one of our videos for the first time, we would gladly offer you a special greeting. We encourage you to enable notifications so you never miss any video. We are pleased to announce that this channel is hosting a 200 XRP giveaway. To be eligible to participate, simply subscribe to the channel, like this video, and comment with the hashtag XRP. The winner will be revealed on August 31st. The Securities and Exchange Commission has requested that the United States District Court for the Southern District of New York certify its interlocutory appeal in its legal dispute with Ripple Labs. Notably, the SEC submitted the request a day after Judge Annalisa Torres, the judge presiding over the case, stated the agency might file a move for leave to bring an interlocutory appeal. The SEC indicated in its petition that the interlocutory appeal would center on Judge Torres' finding on Ripple's programmatic sales of XRP and other distributions. It is worth noting that Judge Torres determined in a July 13 decision that both transactions are not securities. The SEC contended that an immediate appeal would contradict Judge Torres' decision on Ripple's programmatic sales. According to Judge Jed Rakoff, who was handling the SEC v. Terra case, the Howey test does not differentiate between institutional and retail buyers. Circumstances in which an investment of money under Howey can be met by a non-cash contribution. Furthermore, the SEC contended that the court's decision on Ripple's programmatic sales and other distributions could have a significant influence on its ongoing case against leading cryptocurrency exchanges such as Coinbase and Binance. Notably, Ripple is scheduled to respond to the SEC's motion on September 1. In a noteworthy step, the regulatory. The government recognized in the motion that digital assets, including XRP, are not of any holding because the underlying assets in this case are nothing more than computers. Several crypto fans have reacted to this SEC's declaration that digital assets are not inherently securities. Attorney John Deaton commented on the development, saying that the SEC conceded the matter due to the over 75k XRP holders, who joined that the coin itself is not a security. It was, in fact, the first part of our argument. Channel and also press the notification bell to be the first to receive updates on the newest XRP developments. Ripple highlighted its collaboration with the Republic of Palau to build a government-backed cryptocurrency. Ripple recently highlighted its collaboration with the Republic of Palau to build a government-backed cryptocurrency in a tweet. The effort has reached a new phase, according to the update. Notably, Palau intends to create a stablecoin, that will exchange in a one-to-one -one ratio with the US dollar. Furthermore, the stablecoin will be powered by the XRP Ledger Network. The tweet contained a video clip in which the Palau government commented on its goal of developing a stablecoin in the Palawan economy. Saranjal Witz Jr., president of Palau, emphasized the country's limited resources for economic growth. This limitation, he claims, led to the need to pursue diversification. The president stated that the stablecoin project in the works is one of the choices for constructing a sustainable economy. Whips mentioned Palau's involvement. Ripple wants to create a cryptocurrency to help with payment issues in the country. We want to be able to use stablecoins to allow individuals to retain their money in a safe and secure place while also making it easy for them to move it. Caleb Udui Jr., Palau's Minister of Finance, had a similar sentiment. Udui stated that the upcoming stablecoin will be a digital version of the dollar. The minister emphasized that people who want to do business in Palau are overjoyed to receive the dollar. 
Yu Dui, on the other hand, emphasized the country's difficulties in making the dollar available. The existing manner of transferring cash via cargo airplane is one of the obstacles. The minister emphasized that, in addition to being inefficient in terms of cost, the method poses significantly larger logistical concerns due to the lack of security services. Is a cash-based economy. It is used for the majority of our transactions. There is no central bank in Palau. So the government is effectively acting as a digital central bank by issuing stablecoins. Citizens will benefit from a stablecoin as one of its payment methods and legal tender. As it will be easily available, minimizing the tension of going to the ATM. XRP traders recently experienced a brief pricing anomaly for XRP on the Dubai-based exchange Bybit. Furthermore, traders recently experienced a brief price anomaly for XRP on the Dubai-based exchange Bybit. The XRP slash USDT and XRP slash USD permanent pairs had a significant price differential, creating an arbitrage opportunity. The arbitrage opportunity was effectively exploited by Defiscorid, a famous crypto futures trader. On August 20, when the price of XRP fell, the seasoned trader profited from a strange difference between coin margin and USDT, making significant winnings. He revealed the news in a recent post on X, claiming that he had profited by seven figures. The subsequent tweet from Defiscorid offered light on the profitable trade. The trader identified an unnoticed derivative, debug, which resulted in a price discrepancy on Bybit between the XRP and USD and XRP and USDT futures. This arbitrage window, with a 45% discount, appeared quickly and closed in 10 to 20 minutes. The price disparity was caused by a supply-demand imbalance. This mismatch was caused by all market makers' inability to obtain a suitable position. How much XRP is required to earn millions of dollars at the present price? Now for the major question of the day. How much XRP is required to earn millions of dollars at the present price? Please remember to subscribe to our channel and press the notification bell to be the first to receive new updates. The plunge of XRP below $0.50 sparked gloomy sentiment among investors. On August 17, XRP fell to a three-month low of $0.42. Despite the bearishness, market observers believe that the dip might be used to obtain more XRP at a discount. At $3.03. Furthermore, when queried about the price and potential of XRP, AI chatbot Google Bard projected prices of $6.01 in 2024, $12.08 in 2027, and $26.04 in 2030. How much money would investors need to put up? If XRP reaches any of the price targets, I will make $1 million. Well, XRP's prior all-time high value is still up for discussion. TradingView data, on the other hand, puts the value at $3.31. 302,114 XRP would be worth $1 million at $3.31. At the low price of $0.42, investors may get 302,114 XRP for $127,673. This is a 683% return on investment. However, at the current price of $0.50 for XRP, the 302,114 tokens would be worth $152,748. XRP has the potential to turn investors become millionaires. If it achieves the $6.11 price predicted by Google Bard for 2024, if this price is reached, 163,666 XRP would be worth $1 million. These 163,666 tokens could be obtained by an investor. When XRP was trading at $0.42, the price was $69,165. However, at the current price of XRP, investors must deposit $82,520 to acquire these coins.
The $12.08 price forecast set by Google Bard is one of the most aggressive projections for XRP in 2027. However, other supporters feel the asset's value might rise even higher. Only 78,125 XRP would be worth $1 million at $12.08. A market participant might have purchased these 78,125 tokens for $33,015 if they had leveraged the recent low of $0.42. Nonetheless, given the current XRP price, the tokens can be purchased for $39,500. If Bard's prediction of a $26.04 price in 2027 is correct, an investor would simply need to own XRP. 37,878 XRP will be held on a $1 million investment. At XRP's recent three-month low of $0.42, these 37,878 tokens could be purchased for USD 16,007. Despite the increase in value, these tokens are still worth less than a million dollars. At the current price of XRP, it is worth $19,151. While these estimates paint a rosy picture, it is important to realize that they are not guaranteed to come true. As a result, before making any investment decisions, investors should obtain the advice of knowledgeable financial advisors. So, gentlemen, we've reached the end of this video. If you liked it, please like the video, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. This is quite beneficial to my understanding of the YouTube algorithm. Also, you can help enlighten others in the same way that you have been enlightened by sharing this video with as many people as possible. Let's get this news everywhere. Guys, if you are a true cryptocurrency enthusiast, don't miss any of our content, and we'll see you tomorrow to discuss the newest news. That is something that affects the entire community.